15th of September, we would have seen long queues and people lining up to choose a leader among Bernard Kanengo from UPND, Osha Satelela from a Leadership Movement, and Richard Kalasa, Independent Candidate. But a stay from the High Court has changed the fate of the three candidates. Diamond News have visited some polling stations in the constituency, which has not recorded any person showing up to cast their vote according to school authorities. Some residents are talked to say information on the suspension of the by-election was scanty. Today we are supposed to have uh, by-elections in Kabush constituents, as everyone is aware. Yeah, so myself, I didn't go to vote because after the circulation of the statement that the elections won't go on, uh, so I was informed myself personally, but I don't think others were informed. Ani Kapasu and Noria Mbulu said they have no idea or information on the by-election. Today we are supposed to go and vote, but we only watched from TV that they've been cancelled and we are very happy. I didn't have any information on the cancellation of the by-election and only heard from passerby. The UPND on the Copper Belt through their Copper Belt chairman, Elisha Matambu, weighed in on the High Court's stay. We want to use some institutions mm. in this country mm. to try and destabilize the government of His Excellency President Akainde Ichirema. Yeah, yeah. And I think uh, we, we as UPND, and I'm speaking, I'm speaking as provincial chairman for Copper Belt Province, we have also been sleeping. And UPND chairman for governance, Frank Atayali, had this to say. We shall patiently wait for the next guidelines, instructions from the ECZ as when fresh nominations will be held and when, you know, the election shall eventually Take place. Police are in the constituency guarding polling stations while the constituency is peaceful and we are waiting to hear when the elections will take place. Love more Sondash in Indola, Copperbelt Province, Diamond News.